175 pledge delegates. Today I'm happy to tell you that despite taking on the entire Democratic political opposition, members of Congress and the Senators and the Governors and the Mayors, we have won up to this point over 45% of all pledged delegates. And if we can win big victories in West Virginia, Kentucky, Oregon, New Jersey, New Mexico, North and South Dakota, Montana, and California. We have the possibility, it is a steep hill to climb, and I acknowledge that, but we have the possibility of walking into the Democratic Convention with a majority We are going to fight for every vote until June 14th. And we are going to take the political revolution into the convention in Philadelphia. about ideas 
Let me be very straightforward and mention to you some of the areas where Secretary Clinton and I have profound differences of opinion. In my opinion, our current campaign finance system is corrupt. Democracy is one person, one vote. Yeah. It is not about billionaires and Wall Street and their super PACs buying elections. of 
$5 million from special interest. from Wall Street. Secretary Clinton has also given speeches on Wall Street for $225,000 a speech. I am proud of what we have done because our campaign is bringing working people and small donations in and we're telling Wall Street, you're getting out, we don't need you. <laughs> in this country today, we have a federal minimum wage of $7.25 an hour. wage, we've got to raise that minimum wage to a living wage. <laughs> Secretary Clinton thinks we should raise the minimum wage to 12 bucks an hour. Not good enough! I have been out in demonstrations with workers who are fighting for $15 an hour and a union. bucks an hour in every state in this country. In America, people who work 40 hours a week should not live in poverty. It is not acceptable to me or to any of you that women today are making 79 cents on the dollar. And I know that every man here will stand with the women in the fight for pay equity. Committee on the Environment. And I don't have to tell anybody in California what the scientists all over this world are telling us. And that is that climate change is real. Climate change is caused by human activity. Here in California, all over our country, all over the world, climate change is already causing devastating harm. I am proud to tell you that I have introduced the most comprehensive climate change legislation in the history of the Senate. custodians of the planet, which is what we are, we have a moral responsibility to make certain that the planet we leave our children and future generations is one that is healthy and habitable. And that is why together we are going to tell the fossil fuel industry, that their short-term profits are not worth it to destroy the future of this planet.